श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट महाराजा प्रतु एंड अफिलियशन ऑफ लॉर्ड विष्णु बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक महाविष्णु फॉर गिविंग मी दिस ऑपरचुनिटी टू टॉक अबाउट दिस टूडे आई वुड ऑल्सो लाइक टू थैंक ऑल माई गुरुज हु एनकरेज मी एंड टॉट मी about spirituality i would like to thank everyone who supported me in posting this video at the time of the birth of prithu there was an evil king his name was king vena he was the ruler of the world at the time but he was a very irreligious person and he was an atheist hence he had banned all yagnas and religious activities in his state Vena was crowned king because of the only reason that is that his father had gone to Vanaprastha and therefore a king was needed to govern the kingdom in his absence although the ministers and the sages knew that king vena was cruel it was a need for the people of the kingdom to have a king because at the time rogues and thieves were plundering and looting their homes therefore the rogues and thieves were afraid of king vena because he was more cruel than them therefore that was the only advantage of crowning king vena as the king vena considered himself to be the greatest of all and he began insulting great rishis and proclaimed that he was the affiliation of the demigods vena was installed as the king so that the kingdom would be protected from rogues and thieves but in turn now it was king vena who had made the people unsafe it was indeed a tough situation where a vena was dethroned rogues and thieves would start looting the states as the rogues and thieves were afraid of king vena whereas if king vena was still on the throne people would face immense grief therefore the rishis tried to convince vena using religious texts and explaining him about the meaning of yagyas but the foolish king vena in turn asked the rishis what was the purpose to worship the demigods when king vena was providing all that he could to the kingdoms he couldn't understand that he had only provided sadness to his kingdom and he said to the rishis that he was a demigod and he should and he should be the one to be worshiped then he started ill treating the rishis and talking ill about vishnu the rishis who had been ever so calm the rose in anger and now wanted to kill vena using the power of their penance and holy mantras they made vena die on the spot after this they left to their respective ashrams seeing vena's corpse lying near the throne king vena's mother preserved the body using herbs and drugs after the death of king vena as predicted the rogues and thieves started to trouble the people Therefore, the pious rishis thought that the descendants of the pious father of King Vena, Anga, should not decline and should be grown. King Vena's father was King Anga. He was a really pious and a devotee of Lord Vishnu, but he had left to Vana Prastha because he did not like the way his son King Vena was behaving. He renounced his kingdom. Therefore, Vena was crowned king. the reasons were stated in the previous slides now the rishis thought that the pious angas vamsa or kula should not decline and should be grown therefore using the power of maya they used the thighs of king vena's corpse to produce a human who they named bahuka at first he was submissive and ready to listen to all of the rishis orders but later he came to know about the way of how vena ruled the kingdom and therefore he started to follow the cruel ways of vena therefore he was banished to the mountains along with his clan the nashikas after this the rishis used their power once more to produce a king fit for the throne from the hands of king vena's corpse a male and female appeared from the arms of king vena they radiated with spirituality and the rishis immediately understood that the beings were an affiliation of mahavishnu and mahalakshmi 
the rishi is named the male prithu and the female arki respectively with all fame and glory maharaja prithu was crowned the ruler of the earth various gods gifted many different things to prithu yet the god of all gods who was now in the form of prithu accepted all the gifts humbly due to the impious activities which were going on in earth before prithu's coronation there was immense droughts and scarcity on the earth therefore the citizens came and begged prithu to solve the situation as prithu thought about this he concluded that bhumi devi the goddess of the earth was doing a wrong thing by not providing suitable conditions for prithu's subjects to live in therefore the kind lord took his bow and flew to outer space using his potency in his chariot he aimed a powerful arrow at bhumi as bhumi saw this in fear she took a form of a cow and started running from prithu as death doesn't stop chasing a body until it dies prithu maharaja with his swift chariot didn't stop chasing bhumi who was in the form of a cow bhumi's plan was that maharaja prithu wouldn't kill a woman as it was not a good thing in the shastras and killing a cow was also a not good deed in the shastras therefore bhumi thought it was safe but maharaja prithu didn't stop chasing bhumi as maharaja prithu kept chasing bhumi who was now in the form of a cow she gave up she asked prithu the reason why he was so adamant in his resolve to kill her even though she was a woman and in the form of the revered cow as prithu stood there with eyes red with anger he replied to bhumi prithu said that bhumi had failed to provide the basic necessities to his subjects therefore he wanted to rid bhumi of the universe bhumi in turn replied to prithu that his subjects were indulging in impious and unreligious activities therefore bhumi had lost the interest to provide to her subjects but prithu maharaja didn't come back from this resolve and he stood there wanting to rid bhumi of the universe bhumi told prithu to calm down and said to him as follows dear lord vishnu you who had once saved me in the form of a divine boar is now ready to rid me of the universe please hear please hear my appeal prepare a worthy calf from all lokas which will take my milk and provide the necessary needs for your subjects as maharaja prithu consented to this decision the grains and herbs which were now gone due to the illegal use of humans was now milked back out of bhumi by maharaja prithu maharaja prithu had transformed manu into a calf deva guru brahaspati was transformed into a calf and bhumi was milked for the medic knowledge and mantras which had been lost devraja indra was transformed into a calf and was used to milk the soma rasa the drink which was used to cause immense strength and sensual strength and happiness apsaras and gandharvas transformed vishvavasu into a calf which was used to milk the musical and dance arts from bhumi pita aryama from pitruloka was used to milk the offerings made to ancestors from bhumi tantra and its supplies were milked by the asuras like maya yakshas and pishachas thus the equilibrium of negative and positive supplies was milked from the earth thus the pious maharaja prithu the affiliation of mahavishnu restored the necessities of earth and bhumi was renamed as prithvi prithvi it was named after prithu hence it was known as prithvi and prithu maharaja once again restored the peace on earth now people started to once again go into bhakti and started to do religious activities and yagya which was once stopped by the cruel king vena maharaja prithu also performed an ashwamedha yagya which will be coming in part 2 in my channel